Good afternoon, y'all. Welcome to the Crazy Country Barbecue Facebook. Uh, we are in the midst of getting some uh, beautiful weather here, thank God. Uh, looks like it's going to rain tomorrow, so that'll knock down my water bill. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and show you. I am still using that DLX rider from Oklahoma Joe's. Uh, if the wind chimes are too loud, let me know in the video. And that way, next time, I'll probably just put on my little microphone. Even though I don't like wearing it because it's got like 900 foot cord. Uh, so this is what I did. I, I bought a pork loin. And I bought a whole pork loin from Sam's Club because it's cheaper that way. I can make pork chops for the family. They make stuffed pork chops. So I decided to try stuff in a different way. I've tried it with, uh, usually I use like cornbread stuffing and I'll put them in a stove or the oven. That is very annoying. Uh, I can see where you guys can see that. So this is what we're gonna, this is what I did. I took them and I butterflied them. So I cut them about an inch and a half thick, didn't trim them, butterflied them, split them open seasoned them and then I put a piece of Swiss cheese in there some asparagus another piece of Swiss folded over and seasoned them and stabbed a little toothpick in there I got them on the smoker I got them smoking at 200 degrees I'll go ahead and show it to you guys uh, I just use salt and pepper nothing fancy so let's go over here look at look what we got going on here so there she is right now she's only at 174 but she's coming up Y'all can see the smoke. There they are. You can see the Swiss cheese. It's just standard sandwich Swiss. I didn't do anything fancy. I was gonna use some baby bells, but I didn't want to. I'll spritz the asparagus so it doesn't dry out too much, but I believe once I get it to where I'm wanting it to, I got my smoke probe there. It's going to my grill eye. And then that right there was just the leftover asparagus and just some of the uh, ends of the por uh, pork from all the other pork chops. I just wrapped up, put a little bit of butter in there. That way I can just throw it on there and have it as little munchies. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Five of them were smoking good. Uh, see, I got my big water pan. I always keep a lot of water, it doesn't matter. I have cooked on the bottom grade. I did see a guy from my YouTube page want to know uh, about flare-ups. Every pellet grill has flare-ups. You can do precautions, you can do everything you can. You will get a little bit of a flare-up depending on, you know, Hang on, let me get you out of That's my goofy little lawnmower. What you got? But we'll keep tuned, keep going, uh, keep liking, keep posting, keep sharing. If you haven't found me on YouTube, go over and check out Craig's Country Barbecue. Like and subscribe. Um, we're getting ready to be hitting our uh, one year mark uh, from when we created our barbecue team. So we're going to go and talk about what we've learned throughout that whole year and all the mess ups and all the fun stuff that happened and everything like that. The wind's getting pretty crazy. So, I do apologize for the wind chimes in the back. They're a little noisy. I do like them. They are tranquil to me. So, stay crazy, stay country, and always barbecue.